Podcasts. We're on Jen in the car, and we're going really far. Dun, 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 driving deep into the trees. With hot dogs, chips, and cheese. To make the week go quicker, we packed a ton of liquor. Ryan Tropicana will go totally bananas. Cabin in the woods, ooh. Cabin in the woods, oh yeah. Five college students on our way to an old abandoned cabin in the woods! Oh, oh yeah! yeah! Evil Dead the Musical by George Reinblatt. Well, kids, after a three hour drive, I can officially say we're here. I don't see any cabin in the woods. That's because it's in the woods. The woods just up there. But this is as far as the road goes. It's the only way to the cabin. The only way. Oh, Ash, as much as I love working with you every day at S-Smart, I think this vacation will be even better. I couldn't agree more, Linda. Sometimes it's healthy for a boyfriend and girlfriend to leave their place of employment and just have some fun as a couple in a non-S-Smart related setting. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me along, Ash. Please, Cheryl, would it be spring break vacation if I didn't drag along my lonely sister? Hey, Ash, thanks for letting me come on this trip. Well, Shelly, if you were good enough for Scott to pick up drunk in a bar three days ago, then I just know you're good enough for me to spend my only holiday of the year with. <laughs> hey, Ash, this cabin deal better get me lucky. I'm sure it will, Scotty. I'm sure it will. Uh, hey, Ash. Why are we getting this cabin deal for free? What kind of landlord rents cabins for free? No landlord rents cabins for free. That's what we're breaking in. Oh. Don't worry, no one's going to find out. At this time of the year, the owners won't even be there. You mean we're breaking into an empty cabin in the woods? I don't like the sound of it. Please, shut up. What could possibly go wrong with five college students breaking into an empty secluded cabin in the woods where no one knows where we are? Well, when you put it that way. So this is our cabin in the woods. Isn't it great? Join us! Did you hear something? No. Oh, look at this place. It's fantastic, Ash. Sure is, Linda. <laughs> Ooh, windows. Fancy. I've got a funny feeling about being here. What if the people who own this place come back? They're not going to come back. Even if they do, we'll tell them the car broke down or something like that. With your car, they'd believe it. <laughs> Quit your worrying, Cheryl. Why don't you go read a book or something? Well, maybe I will. What's her problem? I know. She thinks she's so smart just because she can read. Woo! Did the cellar door just open by itself? Uh, whatever it was, it's still down there. I don't like cellars. Let's just close it up. Maybe it was just some animal. An animal? An animal. Are you serious, Cheryl? That's like the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You're such a stupid idiot. Well, then maybe it was the wind. Oh, the wind. We're inside. Okay, I thought the last thing you said was pretty dumb, but that's definitely the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Idiot. There's definitely something down there. And it's probably just some animal. Ash, remember when we had that raccoon stuck in the basement of Esmart? Remember? I had to use a broom, a laundry hamper, and a swiffer just to get rid of it. But don't worry, loyal Esmart shoppers. We removed the animal, and Esmart was once again rodent free. You guys are probably right. Probably just some animal. Hey Cheryl, why don't you go be a doll and check it out for us? Scotty, I'm not going down there! What an idiot. Come on, Scott, let's go check and see what it was. Okay, looks like a job for the big man. Be careful! Back in a minute. Hey Ash! Uh, 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 Scotty! Ash! Uh, Scotty! They're just kidding around, aren't they? Hey guys, come on! Stop screwing around! Say something! Something? Ah! <laughs> what a bunch of pansies. <laughs> Look at all this cool stuff we found. Help me up with this, Scotty. Oh, check it out. An axe. Uh, a gun. I bet that still shoots. Oh. You guys still sell these at S-Mark? Ancient daggers? Nope. Uh, what else you got there, Ash? Oh, God. Look at this book. Ooh, creepy. <laughs> Super creepy. It's not even in English. Hey, guys, come on. We shouldn't be going through this stuff. It's not ours. Hey, guys, we shouldn't be going through this stuff. It's not ours. Would you shut your pile, Cheryl? Oh, hey, check it out. 
a tape recorder, the one that's on this. This is Professor Raymond Norby, Department of Ancient History. Log entry number two. I believe that I made a significant find in the castle of Kanda. It was in the rear chamber of the castle that we stumbled upon something remarkable. Necromonicon ex mortis. Roughly translated, the Book of the Dead. Oh. <laughs> it was through the recitation of the book's passages that a dark spirit is given license to possess the living. Included here the phonetic pronunciation of those passages. Kunda, Astrata, Mantos, Egrets, Guth, Nos, Veritus, Kanda, Amatos. Shut it off! Shut it off! Shut it off! A shield, don't go in with just the wind! Scott, how could you? Scott, why did you keep playing the tape? You saw that it was upsetting Cheryl. You just don't know when you're taking something too far. It was just a joke. Sheesh, I was just screwing around. Still, you scared her half to death. Join us! Join us! Hello? <coughs> Join Hello. us! Now, Mother always said, whenever you hear a strange ghostly chant coming through the woods, there's only one thing you can do. Not wake the others and go investigate alone. Hello? All I see are these trees! Join us! I heard you the first time! Join us! Open the door, Ashley! Cheryl? What the heck happened to her? Oh, what's wrong? Are you okay? Her name's Cheryl, right? Then she's attacked me, Ashley! I want to get out of here right now! Come on, Cheryl. Is now really the time to be acting like a stupid idiot? Cheryl, there's nothing out there. Trees do not attack people. Will you drive me into town or not? What? Right now? Look, sure. Sure, I'll take you into town, but just listen to what you're saying. Don't worry, everyone. I'll get her into a motel and be back in no time. Our vacation will resume as planned momentarily. This is very sweet of you, Ash. When you get back, I'll bake you some cookies. You believe me, Ashley, don't you? You believe me that there's something out there. Well, it doesn't matter if I believe you. I'll take you to town and leave it at that. We just have to cross... The bridge! The bridge! It's been destroyed! There's no way out of here! Why can't you see? They won't let us leave! They won't let us leave! It's only been a few hours since I've translated and spoken aloud the first of the demon resurrection passages from the Book of the Dead. May God forgive me for what I have unleashed unto this earth. I have seen the dark shadows moving in the woods, and I have no doubt that whatever I have resurrected through this book is sure to come calling for me. Uh, Ash! Uh, uh, Scotty! Uh, do you guys want to play a game? Coming. In a little bit. So, uh, what game you guys want to play? Uh, let's play Guess the Word. Uh, how do you play that? Well, I'll give you some clues and you try to guess the word. Okay, first word. Oh, it's big, it's green, it goes in the water. Toaster! Mm, close. Um, blank. Dundee! Rhymes with rockadile, starts with a C. Coaster! The word was crocodile. Okay, next card. It's when you're playing football and you score. It's a, a rouge. Touchdown. Right, Cheryl. Okay, when you eat lunch, okay, Nick, what's your put a vitamin C, muscle of a torch come to answer. She's been studying the cards. Nobody's that good at guess the word. Oh, Cheryl, is everything all right? Why have you disturbed our sleep? Awaken us, Marius, in slumber. Nightmare is before you. You will die one by one. We're going to kill you all. Now I'm going to ask you one question. Not where, or why, or how, but who? Look at people now! <laughs> What's her problem? I mean, I've seen games of guess the word bring out the worst in people, but that's ridiculous. Guys, I think that when we played the tape, some evil force must have been awakened that took over Cheryl's soul and made her a demon. Astute observation, Holmes, but I think the rest of us figured that out by now. Did you see her eyes? Oh, I wish I'd scared! What's wrong with her? I'm no doctor, but she looks sick. Let's... let's put a blanket on her. I heard you suckers mocking me in my sleep and calling me a prude! Let's see if you're still laughing when I rip out your fallopian tubes! Why is she talking in rhymes? Oh, just try and mess with me. I'll show you where your grave is. If being evil is cool, consider me Miles Davis. Now I told you Owens before I'm going to take you out. And I'm not one to make false 
false promises. So kids, let's kick it. First Ash, then Scotty, then Shelly, then Linda. Then I'll see the pencil in there! Oh, oh, ankle, I can't move! Take her to the bedroom and make sure she's okay. This is freaking me out, Ash. Me too, buddy. I mean, my sister just turned into a demon. Are we gonna be okay, Ash? Dead by dawn! You're all gonna be dead by dawn! <laughs> yeah, Scotty, we're gonna be fine, perfectly fine. Just as long as no one else in our party turns into a demon. Ah! Oh, fiddlesticks. Look who's evil now! Not Shelly, too. Oh, my God. Like, look at me in my evil demon body. Now I'll ask you a question. Not where or why or how, but who? Look who's evil now! Now Scott, since you were so kind to take me on this trip, I have graciously decided that you're going to be the first one I'll take with me. Join, Join us. us! Join us! Dude, grab the gun! Shoot her! I can't shoot Shelly, she's a friend of ours! Ash, I picked the chick up drunk in a bar three days ago. Toss me the gun! Oh, come on! Dude, I can't take this anymore. I'm out of here. You can't go now. I must. You can't. I must. Scotty, don't leave me. I can't take this anymore, Ash. You don't even know if there's a way out of here besides that darn broken footbridge. See on the other side, bro. I'm out. <laughs> I can't really let him walk out like that. Scott, free! <laughs> oh, shut up, Cheryl. Oh, I was looking forward into burning into his flesh. You know the commercial skate. Scott's the softest issue. <laughs> oh, come on. That's awful. Oh, I'm awful. You're awful, Ash. Look what you've done. You locked your own sister in the cell. You just killed a girl, and your girlfriend's so hurt she can't even walk. And look at you, Ashley. You're going mad. <laughs> Join us! Join us! That's Ash. it. I'm getting Linda, and we're getting out of this place. Ash! Scotty, oh my god. Help me. Scotty! Ash, it's the trees. They're alive. They aren't gonna let us leave. We're all going to die in here. No, we're not going to die. We're going to die, Ash. All no. of us. We're not going to die. We're all going to get out of here. Now, the sun will be up in a few hours or so, and we can all get out of here together. You, me, Linda, Shelly, okay, not Shelly, you shot her through the door. Uh, listen to me, Scotty. Is there a way out of here? Listen to me, Scotty. Is there a way out? Yeah, there's a way. A trail. But don't you see, Ash? The trees, they aren't going to let us leave, Ash. Ash, death is an idiot. A stupid idiot. Scott? Scott? No! Hey, Ash, and all this commotion. It looks like I accidentally scratched your Cindy Lauper album. Whoopsies! No! Shut up! Not you, Linda. Not you, too. Uh, Ash, kill her, dude. She's evil. Oh, kill her if you can, lover boy! Forgive me, Linda. I guess I gotta do what I gotta do. Please don't shoot me, Ash. I'm fine now. Oh, I love you, Linda. Please, Ash. Please don't shoot me. You swore that we'd always be together. I love you. No, I won't do it, I promise. I love you too, Linda. Hey, hey, Ashley, Ashley, help me, Ashley, please. Cheryl? Uh, don't do it, dude. She's still evil. Both the chicks are. Sorry, Scotty. That's still my sister. I'm afraid that I'm gonna have to ignore your dying wish... wishes and help her. Ashley, you're just so stupid! Oh, stupid! Dude, I told you so. Why are you torturing me like this? Look who's evil now! No! Another beep time to sleep! <laughs> We've got your girlfriend and she burns in hell! Ash! Chop off her head! And this time, actually listen to me because I'm seriously dying now. I'm sorry, Linda. I've got to do this. I've got to chop off your head. We're gonna get you! We're gonna! <laughs> Guess you won't be needing this necklace anymore. Not much need for a necklace when you don't got a neck! You're still alive? My hand, I said for you to die already. Don't make me ask you again. You're going down. Useless! It's useless! My body will get you! I always told you I had a killer body! 
Now it's time for you to die, you old hag. You found me beautiful once. Honey, you got real ugly. <laughs>